Hey, we're back. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mark Perrano from WBCN. And uh, you just saw these two guys play. It's amazing how fast we can change our clothes, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Here's are the two it's gentlemen. The magic fast. Of TV, it's yeah. as quick as you got over here. So I get off the radio and whip right over here, <laughs> right to downtown Boston and do Boston Live. Whip it up. That's some great rock and roll you were doing, uh, doing the live, both tonight and, and last night. And it's no secret that we, we taped that so you can see it all week long. Oh, no, it's all live here yeah. on Boston Live. It's all live. Well, I mean, God. I mean, yeah. How are you guys doing? You're, the, you're yeah. brothers, right? You're Vernon. Dan. And Dana. That's and what's your last name? West. Yeah, I knew that. I'm just asking the wrong people. Well, they told us we're brothers. We're not, you know, no one's ever really sure of that kind of thing. Yeah. How's Sass doing? You guys have came real close with that song Radio, which we played on the radio and other stations played it as well. That one I'm playing right now, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. to getting a contract uh, and, and getting an album out. And uh, where does Sass stand on that right now? Where, where are, you, are you close? Well, we see, but last year in 79, we had about every record company around coming to see the band and yeah due to un circumstances beyond our control the economics of the situation have changed too you know? yeah that's and true but fingers in the pie bit you know <laughs> yes we had a guy managing us at the time that was kind of being a little hot on the record companies and scared them all off and as a result of about four months ago we had a went to court and spent a lot of money with lawyers and so this thing called the music business there really is a lot of business to take care of you bet. Yeah. Bet. how long has sass been doing it how long have you been together for a few years you were on the live at the rat album which mm -hmm. was a compilation mm -hmm. of different rock and roll bands well, that was like 1975 right? sure. yeah, uh, yeah, is that the same band or has it changed a lot since then oh very much so uh, we were a three-piece band back then yeah and uh we've gone through a lot of changes and you, now you the, have a new keyboard player yeah right? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mock time on drums mock time on drums What's, is it easy to make a lot of money with a band like yours? No, sure it is. Oh, millions. <laughs> millions. It's good to make bills. What's the, bi what's the biggest gig you ever did? Oh, we played Lennox Music Inn with... Uh, Last Minute. We ran in front of uh, Bonnie Raitt. From, yeah. You know, 11,000 people. It's fun. I want to thank you right here on TV for when we were on strike at BCN. You did a gig for us at the Orpheum. Of course, thank BCN you. deserves it. <laughs> Anytime, Mark. Give us a call. So, um, so tell me more. Tell me more. What are your plans? How are you going to escalate yourself to the level of the electric prunes of the Rolling Stones? <laughs> well, hard work and a lot of macaroni, I think. Yeah. How many nights a week do you gig? How far away do you go from Boston? Because you're all North, you're all North Shore boys. Well, we right? go to Chelsea once in a while, and uh, we've been to the Big Apple. You know. Yeah. Who writes the songs in the band? You both do. Me and Vernon write them. Most of them. Uh, all of them. And Is it true brothers can harmonize and vocally together like the old Everly brothers used to, and their brothers have a closer vocal range because they're brothers? That's exactly right. You know, the vocal head uh, tones usually closer. So does that does that go along with the so songs you're writing and recording and stuff and playing together in sass? Yeah, we kind of stick them in there. Is sass heavy metal, new wave, punk, reggae? What is it? How do you define sass it? I don't like the labels. Well, sass I don't music. either, but but uh, sass sassy music. I might yeah. say experimentary pop. Yeah, it's rock and roll. It's yeah, straight ahead rock and roll. roll. And, you, and uh, you look great. We thank you for coming on all this week and, uh, and doing it for us here in Boston Live. It's been our pleasure. Um, uh, what's coming up? Where are you going to be playing? You got a, a weekend gig coming up this weekend or anything? Yeah, we're going to be this at... This is your chance. Uh, here we are. We're going to be at the channel. And, um, oh, the channel. That's over on Neko Street, right? Right. It used to be a disco. See, all the discos are turning into rock clubs now. Well, that means... All the time. The disco is going... <laughs> right down the, the way of the hula hoop. It used to be, it used to be a disco, and now it's a rock club. The channel. There's places like Spit we've talked about that are that are happening. Have you played there yet? No. Spit, no, it's kind of a small place. We play like maybe the Paradise or the Harbor House or um, Harbor House. I think. Bigger places. Kind of our fans clam into little places and they get uncomfortable. Yeah. We're playing, we're playing the channel, and we're playing Jaspers, which is a, a good small club. Has the, has the changing of the drinking age changed uh, a lot in the last the year and a half for Jaspers bands like has, you? Has, sure. well, especially for the local bands, because uh, you when you have a good following, it, it cuts down to the younger yeah. following. Yeah. We've adapted well, I think. We can almost do a whole show on that, because I know we've talked about it before, yeah. uh, backstage and stuff, when they when they change the uh, drinking age, and bang, all the clubs are empty for a while. Maybe the bands will go on strike or something because of that. It took a while for all the yeah. kids to get fake IDs, you know? <laughs> Yes, there's a big business in fake IDs, I'm afraid. Right, yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing Thanks. it all week with us here, here on Boston Live. This is a QTV you're watching, TV 68, and it's not scrambled, so you can get it regularly right at your house. And I'll be back with an album review of a real Fine new album by Barry Goodrow, lead guitar player from Boston. You know, yesterday already shipped 100,000 right out of the box. So, you know, they'll do all right.